Why is it that until today there is no investigation on one MPP? Why is it that Jolo is not brought back and charged? He should be answered this. He should also be answering all those corrupt, all these uh, uh, cases uh, involving GLCs, uh, all those uh, 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 GLC that involve in corruptions like Felda, Mara, and Papong Haji. You say Amno, Bella, Nasi. Orang Melayu, but all this now they are just printing, they are just a, a, a money making machine for Najib. So what they are saying is that uh, Najib's uh, uh, show or uh, Najib's speech yesterday, he um, would not create an impact because he has missed the chance to explain Precisely. to the voters of what is in their mind. Yes. Right? Okay. He could have making use the opportunity to explain to the Wangsa, Wangsa Maju voters uh, what is the truth, you know? Explain to the people why he, has to, why he hasn't taken all these steps that under normal circumstances, people would expect the government to do it. But you see your opponent is also... MCA's, uh, you know, long time, and you would know about him. You know, so, yeah. yeah, so can you comment? Uh, well, uh, I guess he is. Uh, how should I say? Uh, <laughs> how do you describe your opponent? I think uh, he is okay as a person. Yeah. Uh, I have no grudge against him and I also think uh, we, we were not great friends but we were not enemies. Yeah? Uh, I do not think he would make use of the phantom voters to win. He will not hire gangsters to beat up our campaign workers. I do not think he will do that kind of things. Yeah? He, I do not think he will use the dirty tactics to do all this. Uh, we, we, uh, the situation we are in is that uh, because we we are on a different political platform, because we believe in, we have different political beliefs. Uh, I have two uh, polling station, uh, Changkat and Padang Balang. Again, two polling stations. Eh? Yeah, Changkat. Changkat. C H A N G K A T. Changkat uh -huh. and Padang Balang. Okay. Yeah. Uh, these two were part of Batu before. Yeah. It's almost yes. ninety percent Malay. Uh, yeah. Uh, the total voters. Uh, uh, ten thousand. Yes, around that time, ten yeah. thousand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with this huge number of uh, uh, Malay voters moving to Wangsa Maju, it changed the racial uh, constituency. The racial. Uh, composition of this constituency. Yeah. Yeah. This is of course one part that I think I have to really uh, work hard on it because it's new to me. I have been working here for almost one year but these two are really new. Yeah. Yeah. And I am also new to them. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Because they were part two before. Uh, this is one of the challenges I have to face. The other one is the fandom voters. Those people who were from uh, Batu or other constituencies outside Wangsa Maju, but falsifying their addresses in their IC in order to vote in Wangsa Maju. And we have estimated about 5,000 of them. Yes. So yeah. your focus is you win. First thing is create opportunity, job opportunities for yeah, the young ladies and the other yeah. There's young youths, basically. Yeah. Uh, provided, I think we can do it. Provided, Pakatan Harapan win this election. We promise one million new jobs. Yeah. Yeah.